Hey guys, what's up? My name's Brent, and I'm going to show you how to use and install the FL Studios XXL Edition. Looks like this. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find your files, which is the reg key and the uh, the engine. All right, those are the two files that you will receive. What you are going to do is you're going to double click on the reg key and it's going to ask you if it wants to add it to the registry follow the instructions click OK then what you're going to do is you're going to enter your folder of image line under C just as I'm doing right now find FL8 this folder has many DLL files as you can see the FL engine is the one I replaced with the one that was originally there. Say this was the FL engine, I would drag this in, it would ask me if I want to replace it, click yes, and delete the original file. Or it'll do it by itself, it'll automatically delete it. Okay, so now we have that, it should work. When you open up FL8, which should be the original shortcut, or else it might give you one, you have this screen. This is called a sequencer. This is called a playlist. Each little block on the playlist is a different pattern of the sequencer. So if I were to type one kick here and one clap here, I could play them together on the playlist. You could push this button to play, or you could just hit spacebar. This controls which um, this controls what you're playing. You can either play just the sequencer or both the whole playlist together. You will be using this key more than anything. Let me teach you how to use channels. These are the channels. Add one. Pick one. The ones you really want are the TS, the 3X, the SimSynth, SliceX if you like to sample, the Citrus, Toxic is just a demo, but is very strong in making sounds, the Wasp, and the Wasp XT. Those, add, those channels I listed are really, really useful. You can make sounds you could start from scratch make your own unique song go ahead click on one and add it you'll see that one popped up in your sequencer when we left click on it we see there's the FX channel I'll go over this later for right now you just want to work with the plugin for this specific plugin you have to click here usually it'll just say plugin but for the TS404 you must click on the TS-404 tab. Go ahead, your, your keyboard is just like a piano. That was a unique sound that you've made yourself just by adding the plugin. This is called an oscillator. You can play around with each of these to really get the hang of it. But what you really want to know is that uh, oscillators create the type of waveform. Envelopes describe how the volume is implicated. The filter changes the waveform in a very small, unique way. The filters in the plugins are much stronger because they implement the waveform tw ten times harder than it would if you added to it to an effect. But once again, like I said, I will go over the effects later. Hmm, not right. You can balance the oscillators together. You can mix them together with this switch. The setup you see here will be most common in many plugins on the FL Studio. Let's say I like this sound, which I do. We can right click here and click the piano roll and make a MIDI sequence. 
Now you can see the piano for yourself. Usually when you hit the keys, the note will pop up by itself, but for some reason it's not working on the FLXXL. The keys should look like they get pressed down just as I'm clicking on them. I guess you'll just have to find them for yourself by pitch. Oh, and when you first start it up, you might have a problem. The keys might slide from left to right, like this. You don't want that. You want them to stick inside of the cells so that you have a nice rhythm, a nice straight rhythm. You're going to click on this icon, Snap to Grid. Then you're going to find the one that's, oh, you're going to find the one that says Step, Beat, or the one that says Cell. If you push the different time signatures, you can it'll lock it towards that time signature. That is much harder to do than it would be to just attach to a cell. Time signatures are hard because the grids might not always line up from what you want. I still haven't figured that out yet. The one thing I don't know. You have se several tools. If you want to select a couple notes, if you want to draw one, or if you want to make a couple in a line. Other useful things you should know. You can click on this button. You can use these tools. For instance, the chop, which I always find useful. You can still control X is cut, control V is paste, control C is copy. Well, that doesn't sound the greatest at the moment, but I'll work on it. Oh yeah, that's the thing. FL is one of these programs that takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. Perfecting your unique sound of your song is very important when writing these pieces. You can select the tempo by going up here. If you have problems with anything, by running your cursor over it, it will come up on the left-hand corner, right here. So this says tempo. This says the sequence on your pattern. This is the browser. There are a couple sounds that come with FL, in case you're not so good at making them yourself.